What is up, you lovely lot? Welcome back to the channel. It's two pound coin hunt time and we are starting a fresh new book. No finds in here at all. We have spaces for every commemorative release. Let's get filling it. We've got a sealed bag of 500 pounds from the bank. First of November this year on the bag. Let's get it opened up. What is that? Oh my God. Oh my God, <laughs> look at that. Let's put that near the top so we can get that first. <laughs> that would be an amazing coin to start the series with. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right, there it is. We'll put that there and we'll tip the rest out. That just caught my eye as I laid the bag on the table. That is unreal. It's been a long time since I've found one of these. What a coin to start the series with. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely unreal. The dolphins from Gibraltar. That is an insane find. You don't see these all the time. 2014 Gibraltar, obviously British overseas territory or is it a crown dependency? I always get them mixed up. Should know that really. But there we go. What a cool design. I love the effect of the... Um, the dolphins coming out of the water there. That is brilliant. What a start. There's no space for that in the book, but we'll find a space for it. That'll be going in the back in the territory section. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Nothing else in the first bag. I was so excited. I threw this bag away, which I usually keep just to the side there to put the coins in. <laughs> wow. Unreal. Okay. Let's keep going. So we're starting a new book. Our first find hasn't got a slot in the book, but it's more than welcome. And there we go, there's another decent find. It's a low tier keeper, Charles Darwin. Lovely stuff, low tier keeper. Down the bottom it will go. Of course, every coin we find will be a keeper today, at least the first one we find of it. But we're doing well so far. I can't believe the Gibraltar find, that is awesome. Nothing in that one. I will, of course, as per usual, check through all of the normal technology designs for any that might be worth big money. Of course, I do have a video on that. You can check out. I thought for a second that <laughs> that different portrait was gonna be another Gibraltar. Of course, in 1997, the first Technologies two pound coin was released and it had a different portrait. That is the one coin with that portrait every other year. Eva has the Ian Rank broadly, or well, then later on, of course, the Jodie Clark portrait. Okay, let's keep going. I'm in a good mood because I'm off to the Raw Mint experience this weekend, and it's been way too long since I've been. What's this we've got? 2009. Nice, Robert Burns, another find and another low tier keeper. Probably wouldn't be worth keeping with that bit of muck on it because it is a very low tier keeper but we'll pop it down there nonetheless and in the book it will go we will keep our eyes peeled for one in nicer conditions so we can upgrade the one in the book at some point we will always do that with the collection look to upgrade the better condition ones when we can nothing there but yeah i'll be down in Wales as this video goes live and we're there for a tour on Saturday and Sunday another Charles Darwin not bad so if you're twiddling your thumbs nothing to do this weekend pop down and see us I think a lot of the tours are pretty booked out it is the first weekend of the Christmas tours which aren't the optimal tours to go on if you're a coin collector, in my opinion. There we go, there's a VE Day anniversary, the most common of all the commemorative two pound coins, but it'll go in the book today. Um, because yeah, the, the Christmassy tours are more, more aimed at the youngsters, to be honest. You can meet Santa there usually, I'm presuming that's a thing again this year. Um, and some of the usual exhibits are actually covered over with snow or festive things so you do definitely miss some stuff doing the tour at christmas but 
it's still an experience, still worth going along. And I'm quite excited to hopefully get to go on the factory floor because I understand that recently people doing tours have actually been taken onto the factory floor to have a little look round. So that would be incredibly exciting if that was the case. There we go, there's our first Shakespeare of this series. It's Shakespeare Histories. The only one of the three that we don't actually call the keeper. Up the top it will go. It does still sell now and again, especially as part of the three coin set. People tend to be more willing to buy the three coin set. They can pay one lot of postage and get all three coins in one go. Nothing in that bag. I wouldn't be surprised if we peaked on the first coin in this hunt because that is a crazy find. There we go, there's another one we haven't seen yet today, the Gunpowder Plot, 400 year anniversary, 2005. Please do excuse me if I'm a bit nasally as well today, I'm just at the back end of getting over a bit of a sniffly period, but in a couple of days when I'm down at the Royal Mint, I'm, I'm pretty hopeful <laughs> I'll be back to full strength, so yeah. Just bear with me if I sound a bit rough or a bit more rougher than normal. <laughs> Let's keep going, see what other goodies we can find. Nothing in that bag. Yeah, do let me know in the comments if you've ever found a two pound coin from Gibraltar in your change because it's certainly something you don't get too often. It's rare to find any territory coins, even a Guernsey, a Jersey, Jersey, <laughs> Guernsey or Jersey, let alone a Gibraltar or Falkland Islands or something like that. Oh, here's something, 2012. Could be a Charles Dickens, could be an Olympic handover. Ah, Charles Dickens. It's okay because at the moment, that's filling a gap in the book. So we'll take it. Let's keep going. Oh, there we go, there's something. It's an act of union. 300 year anniversary of the Scottish and English Union. Always worth checking this one for that die rotation error. Two pounds down here. Flip it over, just make sure the queen is lined up nicely. Of course, always worth checking the edge inscriptions on every coin. I did have a few comments on, I think it was the last two pound coin hunt with people mentioning the fact that I hadn't checked the Brunel for the edge inscription error. I do check every coin edge inscription at the end of the hunt. Oh, there's a rather grubby abolition of the slave trade. I'm sure we'll be able to find a better one for the book at some point. But for now, it will go in. Also, place your bets in the comments of what coin will be the last one we're waiting for to complete this series. Not that that's going to be any time soon. I can imagine it'll take us a fair few hunts to get this series complete. There's Brunel's achievements. But it's time to make your... Place your bets on uh, what will be the last coin we're stuck on. I mean, chances are it's going to be a Commonwealth. If you went by probabilities... Oh, that's seen better days, hasn't it? If you went by probabilities... Commonwealth, Northern Ireland, of course, the least likely that you'll find. But I don't think that's ever been the one we've been stuck on. There's 2001 Marconi's Transatlantic Wireless Transmissions. It's another pretty common coin, but it will go in the book today. Oh, there's another. Proving just how common they are. It's a cool one, though. Interesting subject matter some debate whether Marconi should be having the credit that he has received for all of that stuff, but let's not get too deep into that one. Right, last two bags. Any more goodies? I think we peaked on bag number one, but that's not a bad thing because that was an insane find. There's another Mr. Charles Dickens. And to finish us off, last bag. Any last bag luck? There's something, it's another William Shakespeare. 
from 2016 it's another histories that's okay and anything else no that's a lot but what a stunner smash the thumbs up for that beauty subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed come back and see me again for some more coiny goodness why not check out this video about two pound coins <laughs>